keep calm and cherry pick. Keep calm and cherry pick. Greetings, my friends. I'm going to give you the link to this awesome merchandise. Um, Sergio promotes it and another gentleman from Gig With It. Awesome guys. But um, before, before I um, jump in here, I want to say that Uber is again threatening to pull out of cities. And I just say, keep calm. Just keep calm. Don't worry, Minneapolis. These have been bluff threats that we've seen from Uber for a long, long time. If something doesn't go their little way, the bitches get out of control and start threatening the state. Are we going to pull out? Pull out! Because here's reality, right? And thanks to Sergio, Sergio and I bounce back and forth with emails several times a week, right? And we're on the same page here as when we're going to go state by state, we are going to change the legislation, right? It's happened in Seattle. I'll show you right now in this video how we're going to push for it in Chicago. When Sergio and Torsten, right, the guy right here talking to you, when these two collaborate, we are staunch, staunch advocates for drivers. I don't know anybody out there besides myself that fights harder uh, for drivers than Sergio. And when Sergio says, you know what, legislation is going to change state by state, right? Um, his associations and unions are not really doing it. They're not pulling together. They're too isolated. So we have to drum up the money and the legislators and we've got to push state by state. And that's what's happening. And they are panicking. And how do they answer the panic? They threaten, oh, we're going to pull out. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind all of those people in Minneapolis and Chicago soon, Illinois, right? These guys, these little bitches are master bluffers. Tony West, Dara Koshashawi, they are bluffers. That's how they operate. They bluff, they bluff, they threat, they bluff, they threaten, they bluff. But they don't have the balls. They don't have the testicles to pull out. So what you've got to do is you got to keep on moving forward, right? You showed it in Washington that you changed the legislature. Did they pull out of Washington? No, they didn't. They made a ton of threats. Nothing followed. So same pattern here, ladies and gentlemen. Same type of pattern. I need to stop service in Minneapolis if a proposed ordinance passes this week. This comes just months after Governor Tim Wall stopped state lawmakers' attempt at rideshare reform by issuing his first ever veto. WC sales Alan Henry has a look at what the ordinance would do and how other areas pass similar laws without losing service. Drivers there have really started to look to our model in order to find a new way forward there. Carrie Harwin says just a few years ago, rideshare drivers in Seattle were going through a similar process Minnesota's drivers are going Laugh. through today, seeking better pay and protections. We were able last year to expand that legislation statewide, so Washington State drivers are now the best paid drivers in the country. They also enjoy paid sick time, paid family medical leave, uh, workers' compensation insurance, and just cause protections against termination. Minnesota seemed to be on a similar path this spring before Governor Walz issued his first ever veto. Now city councilors in Minneapolis have introduced their own plan. The Fair Drives Safe Rides Ordinance would establish a minimum pay, give protections for drivers facing removal from the app, and create a resource center to help drivers. Both Uber and Lyft say if it passes, they would have no choice but to stop service in the city starting January 1st. Nothing! You know, they do like to play hardball, and while I'm not aware of any specific threats like that, there certainly were a lot of scare tactics that we saw coming from Uber and Lyft. It's unclear if the Minneapolis ordinance will pass council on Thursday or whether the mayor would sign it. But Harwin says with drivers calling for change, something will have to give. Uber and Lyft did not make Washington drivers the best paid drivers in the country simply out of the goodness of their hearts or else drivers in Minnesota would be getting the same of pay right now. Uber and Lyft did it because we had strong labor organizing we go. to force them to come to the table and negotiate. Alan Henry, WCCO News. So you see, if you fight, ladies and gentlemen, if you fight, you get it. you got to be relentless. you got to keep on whipping, right? Death by a thousand cuts. Boom! 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 
boom, over and over and over and over and over again. So I'm excited to collaborate with Sergio Evidian on many of these new pushes, right? They have no idea what they have created. This duo, this dangerous duo, Sergio and Torsten. So Chicago ride share living wage and safety ordinance. We're going to push for it now in Chicago, right? And yes, they are going to make the threats and they are going to start bluffing. Oh, we're going to pull out of Chicago. Go ahead, pull out of Chicago, Dara, right? You didn't do it in Seattle. You ain't going to do it in Minneapolis, just threats. And I want the mayor and all of these politicians of these cities and states to know these guys are only known to bluff. Dara Koshishawi's testicles, Tony West testicles are as soft as cotton balls, right? All they do is they use the media and they make threats, but they don't follow through. They threaten in California, they didn't. They threaten in Seattle, Washington, they didn't. So when the rideshare industry came to Chicago, driving for Uber and Lyft was a way uh, was a way for Chicagoans to make a good, reliable wage. It was way back on a flexible schedule. But the ten, but in the ten years since then, the big rideshare corporations have built a wildly successful business model on keeping fares high, while cutting wages for drivers, ignoring their safety needs, and permanently banning them from driver apps with no warning or appeals process. Right? Uber and Lyft have built a rigged system that cheats both passengers and drivers to maximize profits for themselves. To correct these issues and make it possible for gig workers to thrive in Chicago, the Rideshare Living Wage Ordinance will establish safety standards, a living wage, and decent working conditions for rideshare drivers. The ordinance provides for the following. Raise driver pay from this pathetic 60 cents per mile and 20 cents a minute to $1.20 per mile and 30 cents per minute. Still not enough. You've got to push higher for any regular Uber, Lyft, or Via ride. Increase um, a $5 trip minimum. France, they have $8. You see, if they can do it, we can do it, right? Just, just keep on pushing, ladies and gentlemen. And don't buy into the threats, these threats from Uber and Lyft. Just keep on plowing, keep on pushing forward. Establish a $5 minimum, decreasing the driver shortage by guaranteeing each ride is worth the driver's time. Automatically pay a clear and transparent 150% surge on all regular rides leaving the city. If the ride already carried a higher surge than 150%, the higher rate will prevail. Cap the cut that rideshare companies can take from each fare at 20%. Currently, there is no cap. Drivers report that rideshare companies often take cuts of 60% or more. Require that TNP companies provide transparent fare breakdowns to both passengers and drivers. Currently, passengers have no way to know how much of their fare is actually paid to the driver. Require that TNP companies notify drivers seven days in advance of any suspension and that they have the right to appeal. Currently, drivers can be indefinitely suspended with no notice. If you do get deactivated there, go to Gig Rocket, ladies and gentlemen. So require passenger verification, acknowledging a demand for safety that drivers have been making for years. This ordinance would, it would also establish a public assistance fund from which money can be allocated to provide service to drivers vehicles at approved city locations um, or for assistance in purchasing dividers or dash cams. An appeals process with the Department of Administrative Hearings to respond to any suspension. The option to use civil action to recoup money from rideshare companies if they violate this ordinance. An excluded worker safety committee that would track, research, report on and organize around safety issues. Amen. Chicago's rideshare drivers love their work. For many, rideshare was a way to make a steady income that was flexible enough to accommodate a driver's health or family needs. But rideshare companies have made it so difficult for drivers to stay safe while earning a predictable income that many now find it difficult to stay in the industry. The city council can create regulation that will lower fares for passengers, protect drivers, and stimulate the local economy by putting money in workers' pockets rather than 
continuing to enrich Uber and Lyft. Chicago drivers need your support, right? So hit them up. Um, now, this is directly, this one is directly from Sergio and, and we've been going back and forth. David Risha, Dara Koshishawi, Tony, uh, Tony West, Tony Zhu. It's time to shit in your pants, right? Because if you have advocates like that, us, who have the drivers, hundreds of thousands of drivers, right, that we appeal to. Once we start marching out legislation state by state, you ain't going to stop us. So you can threaten, right? You can threaten as much as you want, right? You can threaten as much as you want. You ain't going to stop us. We've started it and we're going to end it. And we only end after we have gotten legislation passed in every single state. We'll do it state by state, right? This is the way to move forward. And I'm 100%, 100% aligned with Sergio on this. We are going to push and help and support these groups and get through legislation and let them threaten, let them bark. As I said before, their balls are as soft as cotton balls. You don't have to worry about these people. They, they bark, they bark, they don't have a bite, my friends. They've shown it to us time and time again that all they can do is bark, they cannot bite. So continue, my friends. And Chicagoans, I'll leave the link below. We are gonna march forward. We are gonna change the state by state, right? Seattle, Washington has shown us the way. Did Uber or Lyft pull out? No, they didn't. Did they threaten that they would pull out? Yes, they did. Did Uber and Lyft threaten that they would pull out of California? Yes, did they pull out of California? No, they didn't. So every time you are introducing new legislation in the state, they've done it successfully in the UK, they've done it successfully in France, they've done it successfully in Seattle, they're doing it right now in Massachusetts, they'll be doing it in Chicago. Do you think, honestly, do you think for one moment Uber and Lyft can afford to pull out of all of these markets? No, they can't. So moral of the story, Dara, David Risha, keep on barking. But I promise you, this is what you need to do in the early, early morning. Check in with your testicles. Feel how soft they are, those little cotton balls, because all you are doing, my friends, is barking.